It's protein? It looks like ice cream sandwich bar. Is it an ice cream sandwich bar? No, it's super cookie crunch. So gas. It looks like ice cream. What number are you? I don't know. Number five right now. I'm five today. I don't I don't know yet. I'll figure that out whenever we get jerseys, I guess. In short time, Hudson Sapp has gelled with his Georgia Highlands teammates. He arrived with the Chargers with a lineage, a national championship on his resume, and a story of battling back from illness that put the game into perspective for the Dawson County product. As a high school freshman, Sapp's future was already set. While playing for the Georgia Jackets, he attended a workout at Ole Miss. Coaches ultimately offered him a scholarship. In January 2017, Sapp announced he was committed to the Rebels. I fell in love with the place. It felt like a, felt like a home. Um, and it's, it is a special place, like there's no doubt about it. In December of his senior year, Sapp started to lose weight. In a span of a few weeks, he dropped 28 pounds. We weren't really sure what was going on. I was eating like crazy, like I got tired of food. I hated it, but I was trying everything I could to keep the weight up. The Saps went to a doctor thinking it could be diabetes, which ran in their family, and were told it could also be a thyroid issue. In January, he was diagnosed with Graves' disease, an immune system disorder that can cause an overactive thyroid. Hudson went on medication, but as the season approached, the meds left him wondering if he could even take the field as a senior. It wasn't really working that great. Um, senior year, baseball was starting, and I would go out there. I was on uh, blood pressure medicine and several other things to keep it down because it was really, really high. Uh, we'd run around and. I, I felt I would be, I'd run around for five minutes and I couldn't breathe because my heart would be racing so fast. And so uh, there was a point in time where me and my dad had a conversation because my dad was my high school baseball coach. So I kind of had some flexibility in some things, which was nice. But uh, we, we weren't sure if I was going to play or not. Like uh, we weren't sure if I was going to sit out and just try to, you know, get healthy to go to Ole Miss. And he did play that senior year for the Tigers and his dad, head coach Dwayne Sapp, before the season was shut down due to the coronavirus pandemic. Hudson could have stayed on the medication and continued to function, but it didn't work for him as an athlete. They made the decision to have surgery April 3rd to remove the thyroid. It wound up being a blessing in disguise for Sapp, both in the timing of still allowing him to report to Ole Miss for his freshman year and then the discovery that came when his thyroid was removed. Got lucky that I had surgery. If I didn't, we wouldn't have found it, but there was cancer in my thyroid, so got lucky finding that. Um, after finding that, they uh, now I just I have to take a pill every day for the rest of my life, and then uh, I get blood drawn every now and then to monitor, make sure there's no cancer or anything coming back, and then make sure my medicine's working. But <laughs> for the most part, I mean, it took me about a it took me about a year to fully, you know, get back to my normal self. Um, and it, it was a tough road, um, but uh, it was it definitely made me a lot better because it, it it made me sit back and realize, you know, like I love this sport, but it made me realize some things. That there's sometimes a lot more important than than just baseball. Sap redshirted as a freshman at Ole Miss, and then as a sophomore in 2022, appeared in nine games for a Rebels team that will win the program's first national championship. But as Sap went into the fall of his next year, the game had started to lose some of its enjoyment. You know, we brought in a few transfers, and that's, coaches got to do what they got to do to win. So uh, go into the fall, <coughs> go start battling it out, and. It was just, I got to the point where it wasn't a ton of fun to me and I felt like that I was not enjoying playing the game at that point. Um, so I had some tough decisions to make at Christmas. I wasn't sure what I was gonna do. Hudson's dad and his brother Palmer, who had played at Georgia Highlands before going on at Georgia College and State University, got in contact with Chargers coach Dash O'Neill. Being in his third year of school, they had questioned whether Hudson was too far along to go the junior college route. But because of his redshirt season at Ole Miss, Sapp remains eligible for this spring. Um, I think this is just a great opportunity for him to, to come in here and, and see what else is out there. Um, but I think just the relationship that we developed with the family is really what led to it. Is if he was, you know, if 
if he was going to come to junior college, we were going to get him. And uh, I think that speaks to the experience that, that Palmer Sapp had here. I was going to get limited time playing there. And, you know, I just, I'm getting to the point where I want to play. Like, I want to, you know, it was great. We won national championship stuff last year. But I want to be more of a part of a big reason of why that happens um, and help a team accomplish that goal. So uh, I'm, I came here this spring and C Coach O'Neill uh, opened me with, uh, open arms and um, you know it's it's been great so far I've kind of way I described him the other day is um, it's gotten me that spark back a little bit again that's you know I, I'm still gonna do my work and everything like I was but I just didn't have that drive to enjoy and go play and and my brother had a great experience here he loved it and you know there's plenty of JUCOs and everything you could go to but I felt this was a great fit for me my my dad he hadn't got to watch me the last couple of years very much so he can he can him, my family can come and watch a little bit more so uh, I, I mean I'm excited about it I feel like it's gonna be a really good spring and given the skill set that got sat to the SEC the Chargers stand to benefit when he's in the field and at the plate and he does everything. I mean, he's got thunder. You know, he's not the biggest guy you've ever seen, but I mean, he can drive it to all fields. He's got a 90 plus mile an hour arm. He runs really well. You know, I mean, he's, he's your stereotypical five tool type of player. It's not just power. It's not just speed. It's just, it's the combination of everything that he can do. And, and I, th I think he's going to be really scary for people to see when he gets going.